here we are, one of the top RGB platforms to have in 2024. Artemis is one of the most unified programs when it comes to ARGBs, and we all just want something that works, especially when you have to deal with something such as Corsair's IQ5, because God knows it gives us all a headache, and you do have other manufacturers such as Asus Omri Crate and MSI RGB Creator, and there are other platforms where we get plenty of headaches from and we're not trying to get a migraine here. We just want something that works. Also, if you can go down to the timestamps down below if you want to hear less rambling and more action. But let's get to the point as I want to mention what Artemis exactly offers. Now, if you're not familiar with OpenRGB, you can connect OpenRGB with Artemis, which would be another video, which I will have linked to this once it is completed. You can link OpenRGB and you can connect other plugins such as Cooler Master, MSI, Acerock, IQ, Razer, anything that you can think of. You can see that as much more flexibility. They even have simple gradient maps where you can actually set it. And it does have some beautiful effects as you can actually even connect Spotify to the software, which is really nice. Now the software does come from the Netherlands and make sure to donate to these guys because they are hard at work to make sure that all your RGBs work in harmony and that's all somebody can ask for. So it is on Artemis 2. All we have to do is click the download link just above and then once we do, you're just gonna open up this installer and you're just gonna practically go here. You're gonna, as you see that I do already have it. So I'm just gonna click update the Artemis uh, software. It's gonna look something like this. It's gonna have an installation wizard and we're gonna go ahead. Just make sure that the internet connection is available so it can download the latest updates. And for all those paranoid people out there, it's going to give you a false negative at times to where your antivirus software will flag it for invalid reasons because it does have to access your system files in order to be able to adjust your RGBs. Whether you want to do it or not, that's completely up to you. But let's continue here and here are the prerequisites. This is where it is going to install to and the, the directory. So once it downloads, it's gonna install. So we're gonna launch Artemis here. And it should look something like this. Once it opens up, it might not exactly look like how it would look on my screen, but also you want to make sure that you're running as administrator if you do not have that as your default, just in case if you run into any other issues. Also, you don't have to worry about disabling any other RGB platforms, such as if you had Asus Armory Create Open or Corsair's IQ or any other software, such as Razer's Synapse. Any software will not really interfere with Artemis 2, so that is one less thing to worry about. So let's open this up, and we're going to go into settings here. Here are where you can set it to auto run on startup. You have high window, hide windows on auto run. Um, you do have associate with Artemis links. You, you can kind of browse through this, but most importantly, you want to make sure that your software is up to date. You can click check now. Obviously we just downloaded it. So the software is up to date and we want to make sure that the default brush, if you prefer solids, you can do that. If you prefer key press on default, you can do that. Uh, now with, I'm just going to kind of go do it real quick because this is just going to be the general settings here. Now your preferred rendered method is through the software because the reason being is it doesn't affect your hardware as much. If you do set it on Vulkan, you can expect some sort of uh, some sort of delay when it comes to hardware where it can actually affect FPS when you are gaming or if you are using it professionally for Premiere or any other type of software such as that. Uh, the render scale will set at 25%, 30 FPS is perfectly fine. They do have setup wizards and everything, which makes it easy. Uh, you can go ahead and do this if you choose to, but I'm going to show you the plugins first because this is going to be pretty important because you want to be make sure that you have everything installed. Now, 
more than likely you're going to have ambi light installed you'll also have default artemis profiles installed you have web api now this is the more important part if you have an asus motherboard you want to make sure to enable that plugin if you have audio you want to make sure that you want i uh, connect it to say like uh, any sounds to your pc you want to enable it uh you want to if you have cool master devices you want to enable it you want Corsair devices, you want to enable it. And this is important because if you do not enable any of these devices, the software will give you issues to where it will just not work. Before we talk a little bit more about the plugins, let me show you something real quick because this is also important. If you have other RGBs in your PC, such as Corsair, you might get a common error code, which is an explanation point, And it will say something as this plugin is unable to start don't worry i'm going to show you exactly how you can fix it but first things first you got to make sure you go into iq and when you do just enter it now this can happen with any type of software any type of rgb software so you want to make sure that you have sdk enabled actually this just automatically pop popped up but i will show you that what where you're gonna have to access this setting so go into the settings go to the software updates, go to the SDK side. And then when you go to SDK, make sure that you have IQ SDK checked on and game SDK checked on. And you're gonna wanna have this also checked out where it says allow exclusive control for IQ actions. And once you have that, then you can approve any type of software that works with IQ then it will say something as Artemis UI window and Artemis will actually take control over the actual IQ software. And now you can successfully ignore IQ for those who have such headaches with IQ5. Yay, your RGBs will just not work correctly with each other. So you wanna make sure you have all the RGB software that ha is with your PC or that you built with your PC. So if you have Razer, any Razer products, just make sure you go type it in and it should pop up. And if there's anything that you're missing or any software that you feel are missing, uh, just go to get more plugins. Also, just to mind you, uh, guys out there who do have some other named brand RGB fans or some RGB LED lights that are in your PC that are unheard of, don't worry. It should be plugged in through your RGB or your ARGBs on your motherboard. And technically that would be under ASUS or Gigabyte or whichever manufacturer that your motherboard is from. Now, if you are on a laptop, just remember it's not going to work uh, correctly with that it might work but again that's a 50 50 chance because this is this is just going off of mostly custom builds now you can have it connected say a discord plugin and as i mentioned a spotify plugin which is nice and uh they even have a csgo uh, they have league of legends they have all different types where you can connect the software to where you would head to next is you have your home page. This is nothing to really worry about. This is kind of just to talk about if you have any questions and everything, of course you can ask the comments down below, but you can also ask the devs themselves. So you wanna to go to the workshop. Workshop, you can actually look at different profiles and you can download some. Say you want something like a cyberpunk profile, They someone made it they were inspired by cyberpunk 2077 and phantom liberty and you can easily download it which is nice similar to how wallpaper engine is you can download other people's profiles so it is a shared community also there it is it was installed and here is the surface editor as you can see i have my keyboard and i have all the rgb and corsair uh lights connected to it originally i did have the actual QL fans connected as well. Say if you want to change out your QL fans and you want to actually have a picture similar to what you have on these ML fans, you can, you just right click it, you go to view property and you're gonna go under layout. We got the QL fan here. So we're gonna do that layout just like that. And bam, there you have it. Now you have an image of the actual fan and there it is 
So we can easily move that around now if we want to. Right now they're kind of all grouped up together and there's that QL fan. You can kind of mess around with the actual layout here and you can see I won't spend all day doing this, but you can get the idea that you can kind of move around the LED lights. It is pretty accurate on what you have connected to your PC, such as the ASUS GPU, for example. You just click that. And if you don't, don't see it lighting up, don't panic. It's actually really easy to be able to get it to light up. That's, I'm gonna explain in a little bit later. We're gonna hurry off of the surface editor here. As you can see, I quickly just put over the QL fans that I have for this PC. And all we have to do is really enter the profile and start editing. You can see how much more beautiful this rainbow animation is on Artemis. RGB compared to most other stock RGB software such as Asus and Corsair. You're just gonna go over to general and here you can actually create new profiles. So this is what I have called Rainbow Sir. So when I play out this animation, you can see how nice and smooth it is. And in order to do so, it's really simple. Now, we're gonna just start a new one so you have a better idea of what's going on. We'll call this Super Rainbow, Super Fast Rainbow. And then we're gonna confirm this profile. And as you can see, this is just gonna be stock. Now here, it's gonna be pretty confusing at first. You're like, okay, I can see my RGBs, but I can't really do anything. Well, let's get started here and I'll show you how easy it is. So you're gonna go up here, go to File, click New and Layer. As you can see, it's going to give you a box here and you want to make sure you highlight all of your RGBs that you have in your system. Currently, you can see it is blood red, but more than likely, you're not going to want to keep it on this setting here. This is decent if you just want a solid color, but if you want to do a little bit more and want to know how to do animations, I'll show you quickly on how to do a quick rainbow animation. So you see down here, you see general, you're gonna click down this arrow. You will change this to solid to your linear gradient. So when you click linear gradient, it's still boring, even though when you go through the play slider, more you won't see any change in animation. But that's okay, because it's really easy to get it to animate. And because we called it super fast rainbow, we will make it super fast. So we're gonna close down this arrow here. Don't worry about all these other functions. Of course, you got shape type, which you can change this over, say to ellipse or to rectangle, which we will preferably prefer. You have different blend modes and you do have different transfer, uh, transform modes, such as a clip. We're gonna go down to the brush animation down here. And this is from here, you see scroll speed. So we're gonna change this over to 50 and we will change this to 50 and press play which is the space bar on your keyboard and from there you get a pretty decent speed but maybe that's not the speed that you're looking for we are called super fast rainbow for a reason so you can change this over just say to 100 and to the next scroll speed over to 100. now when you click play you see how much quicker that animation is? So the higher the number, the more quicker the animation can be. And you can just play around with those numbers to really change this up. Now, how do you do other animations? And I'm gonna show that to you real quick. Now I'm just gonna go down to my noise profile here, which is practically just a solid blue color. Nothing really special, just a solid color. And what we will do is we will change this up. Now up here on the right, you will see that you will also have a panel with the pane. So we're gonna go into this pane here and we're gonna go from this brush. We're gonna hit the arrow down. And from here, this is where you could actually do a little bit of changes. Say you prefer two different colors, maybe you want blue and yellow. So we're gonna set this here and we're gonna just click this little toggle keyframe. And then once you do, we can switch it over and say you want yellow. You go here, we're gonna change it up to yellow. And now you have two different colors. So now when you press play, you can see it slowly kinda change into the yellow color. So that's how you can do something like that. 
Now, if you don't want to change colors here, instead you want a little bit more animation. It's also not bad to do as well. All we have to do is go down to transform here and pretty much the same type of concept, say if you are doing a rotation. Now, let's go to the keyframe here. We're gonna just hit this little time icon right here, which is just the keyframe. And then from here, say we will flip it about like a 50 degree box. Then we go over here, we change it to 75. And then at the end, we want 100. And let's move this back some, because we're gonna make this a little bit interesting here. We'll do 150 and then go put 180, which is a full turnaround. So now you can see how the animation turns around just like this. So it gives it kind of like a little rotation, which can easily be done. Now you can always change colors. This is just a simple idea what you can do and how much more flexibility you have when you are modifying your RGBs with Artemis. You can see the power of this program and there is you can throw some really intricate designs when you use Artemis RGB. Now say you want to go radial gradient, you can. And now let's throw a little mix in there. And the possibilities are pretty much endless when it comes down to this. We're going to just kind of reset everything back to its default settings. So you can easily just highlight everything here, hit delete, delete all the keyframes. And we're going to set the rotation back to its normal setting. And lastly, I'll show you one more. So say we go over to say something like a particle. Once we go over particles, you can do like a snow effect, which is pretty cool. Now, all you have to do is go back here. And as you can see, it looks like it's literally snowing on your fans, your keyboard, and you can always change out the uh, layout of how you will want the colors. Because there is type waves and everything, the different backgrounds and everything, kind of throw it off so if you're wondering where that red comes from it's from up here so we're just going to start off from a standard particle color here and as you can see now you have just a normal type of snow effect and you can add layers on layers you could add a type effect up here you're just gonna all you have to do is click the file here click new and we add another layer and this time say you want to make it into a typing layer which is easy enough to do click key press and then as you hit the keys, just press play. Every time you hit the key, as you can see, you get these nice little cool effects. The possibilities are endless, and it's actually a lot easier to work with compared to most RGB programs. And the best part, it's completely free, and it works with just about every RGB out there. Now, say you are finished with the animation here. All you have to do is say, we are done with the super fast frame mode. Just go into run mode and it will constantly run. It doesn't allow you to edit. It will keep it into run mode and it will constantly play like this. Now, of course you can do different things like you can add Spotify profiles, you can do game profiles. And as I said, the possibilities are endless when it comes to Artemis and it's easy to work with. And the best part, it is absolutely free to use. Now, I did try to make this a very quick guide. Hopefully, you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is looking for some type of program to work with their RGBs, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if not part of the big, wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fam and guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was quick and very brief. And if you want a more detailed video, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.